We are rolling. Are we live? We are live. We have our patient Goldenrod. Goldenrod, you're going to feel something cold. Goldenrod has a thing. How long you had this thing on your back? My whole life. It's a mole, right? Mm -hmm. We call it a thing just for fun. And has it ever bled or changed recently or anything like that? No. Okay, so you want us to remove this for you, correct? Yes. And that's what we're gonna do. Are you okay if we video your procedure for our friends on YouTube and Facebook? Yes. This is gonna feel a little bit cold. Are you ready? Yes. Cold. What's she gonna feel, Gumby Jean? Stick sting gonna burn. Here it comes. A little stick. Sting. You feeling the sting mm -hmm. gonna burn? Good. Nice and slow, we'll take it slow. I'll come yeah, that was the whole mold changed colors. Yeah. Put a little bit more in for you. There we go. All right. So what we're going to do is what's called a punch biopsy. This is a little tool that we use to do biopsies. And in this case, it's large enough that we can actually do the biopsy and remove the mold at the same time. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna put that right over the mole and then just twist gently. You feeling anything? No. You might feel a little pressure, but you shouldn't feel any pain. If you feel any pain, say, I felt that. Make sure that we have it. Make sure we are deep enough. That should do it right there. I didn't press, oh, I didn't open them. <laughs> That's okay. I can do it. Got that. So this is a very simple office procedure. It can be done in almost any office. Most offices would do this, right? This is very simple. So we're going to grasp firmly the lesion and we're going to snip it off with these scissors. Slowly. The mole has been removed. Kevin Jean, we are rolling. Hi guys, good we, morning. We have our patient, we're gonna call you jellyfish. How you doing, my man? Pretty good. You got a little bump on the side of your neck here. You got some skin tags, we're not gonna worry about those right now, but you got this one here and this looks really large. And we are gonna remove it for you, okay? Thank you. All right. Has it ever bled? No. Changed colors? No. Do you have skin cancer in your family? Not that I know. Do you ever tip your dollar a fresh $100 bill at the end of the day? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask, does it? No. No, I'm going to do this one completely complimentary for you. You were here for just to get your blood pressure medicine refilled, weren't you? Right. And I said, man, let me take that off for you. That'll be fun. And you were like, how much? I said, if I take that off right now, nothing. Just because I enjoy doing them. All right, and you're okay if we, if we uh, call you Jellyfish and record your video uh, Fine. <laughs> for our friends on YouTube? <laughs> I'm ready for the uh, syringe. All right, He's gonna, you're going to feel a little sting, and you're going to get a little cold spray. She's going to spray a little cold spray right on that. Burr, here comes a sting. What's he going to feel? Stick sting and a burn. There it is, stick sting and a burn. Come in here a little bit more. Just a little sting, my friend. There you go. Scissors, forceps. Gummy Jean, did you have a great weekend? I did. It's very relaxing. Did you catch any fish? Oh, we caught all kinds of fish. Are you kidding me? Ready for the stitch? We caught uh, sea trout. We caught uh, sheep's head. We caught a whole bunch of catfish. Wow. Got a, a, a nice stingray, which I actually don't mind catching because uh, I enjoy the little fight they put up. Yeah, they do. Yeah. We put everything back in. We don't keep anything. We did have some requests that if we caught certain fish, certain people said, hey, if you catch this, I want one. But All right. none of that happened. But uh, the important thing is my 14-year-old daughter and I just had a blast fishing and getting out in the sunshine it was in the 70s absolutely gorgeous weather Gumby oh yeah definitely I took my daughter when she was 10 years old yeah I took her down to uh, uh, 
Lake Conroe, and she caught her first catfish. Oh, she was so excited. There are a lot of catfish on Conroe. So, I took a picture of that, and we still have that picture. Is that right? Of course, it's fake now, but I mean. <laughs> Guess what, my friend? You're all finished. That looks great. All right. All right, thanks for the, oh, Hanks, we're still gonna put a Band-Aid on that for you. Okay. Um, you can take that stitch out you want uh, on your own yeah. in about a week, or you can come back and we'll take it out for you. Either way, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right. You're rocking and rolling today? Yeah. It's Friday, and um, you'd like to have a mole removed. Yes. How long have you had that mole? My whole life. <laughs> so you were really born with it? For real? I, I think so. Okay. As far as you know, right? <laughs> yeah. Has it ever bled? No. Has it been changing colors or doing unusual things like turning flips? Not that I noticed. Does it ever talk to you? Yes. Does it ever say things to you? <laughs> yeah. It looks in that Is it ever rude mean? to you? It's been mm -hmm. rude to you in the past, hasn't it? Yeah, it just stays there. So, you're okay if we video your procedure for our friends on YouTube? Yes. Okay. Gummy Jean, if you'll pat, if you'll dab and pad and all that, it'll okay. make it easier. What did I say? Mountain Meadow, huh? Mountain Meadow. Mountain Meadow it is. That's it. You got it. You ready, Mountain Meadow? We're going to go ahead and spray a little cold spray, yeah. then you're going to feel a little stick sting in a, uh, in a burn. Here it comes right now. Are you ready? Yes. A little cold spray, and then... There it is. It's sting in a burn. I think I just froze the needle. No, you just got my finger pretty good, though. That's okay. No hurry. Is it burning? Yeah. Should burn a little bit. If it doesn't burn, it means it's not working. Mm -hmm. So you kind of want a little burn. You're going to feel just a little bit of a pressure and a little cut we make this incision we want to get close but we want to be sure that we get it all and this is a 15 blade and this is a nice scalpel to use for this kind of uh, procedure because we can angle it are you feeling any pain no okay are you nervous yeah <laughs> she's nervous because she didn't have any time to really think about Take the process it all in, yeah yeah it's like what he's gonna do it when no right now <laughs> Actually, Gumby Jean was already in her uh, exit jacket. Oh, she was about to hit the door. <laughs> so, there we go. It didn't bleed a lot either. It's not going to, it shouldn't. We used a little lidocaine with epinephrine buffered, right? Mm -hmm. We call that the Gumby Jean House Blend Special. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks like an eye. It does look mm -hmm. like a little bit of an eye, doesn't it? <laughs> um, yeah. We're going to just come like this. I'm going to come right over here. Okay. And I'm going to grab onto that. I'm just going to make a little incision. Gummy Jean, you get ready to dab for me, okay. okay? And there are lots and lots of ways to do this. And then the primary care setting, the thing I think that's most important to remember is just if you're the provider, do something that you're comfortable with. You don't have to do anything more than just make sure that you get your, you know, get your line straight. Make sure you get yes. uh, the entire neoplasm, get the whole thing so that we don't have to come back later and do it again, right? Yes. That would be no fun, right? No. Okay. So I don't know if you and I have been this close before, have we? <laughs> You feeling anything? Nope. Because if you do, we can always add more medicine. Gonna be Jean's a specialist at that. Mm -hmm. Getting us more medicine. So this, we would cut, uh, call this a mole, right? Uh, for terminology in the chart, we would call it a neoplasm which just means it's just an unusual growth. We suspect, of course, that this is benign. We don't suspect that this is cancer, especially for something that's been here this long, right? Yeah. So no hurry. It's almost gone. It's gonna be kind of sad, huh? No. <laughs> no? No. 
And what's that? You want to save it and have it mm -hmm. done Can like frame that? it? Baby There's bronzed, a... like you do yeah. with baby shoes. She's gonna dip it in gold and hang it on her neck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> baby C. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and add that before it grips on her. Good. So, you want to see what it looks like? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what it looked like. And I feel confident that we got the whole thing. So that looks really good. We'll put some yeah. stitches in here. Let's be sure we send this off to Pathology Gum okay. Gene, please, ma'am. Yes, sir. And would you push my glasses back up on my face? The stitches, knots are all on the same side of the wound there. There we go. So just a little dressing, Gummy okay. Jean. All right. Now, you know, don't put any ointments on that, okay? Okay. All Keep right. it dry. Yeah, she can't wait it. Don't get it wet, you wanna keep it dry okay. and covered. And do your best to think about a mountain meadow. <laughs> that just sounds it relaxing. Up. It does, doesn't it? So it's it better relax. to take a bath instead of a shower? Yeah. Well, you, you can, can do that. Relax. You can take a shower. When, and a lot of people are in these kind of situations where they'll get stitches. And um, the important thing is, is just don't allow water to get right on it. So if you wanna put a dressing and over it, like a special, covering or something so yeah to kind of waterproof it a little bit for a few days that'd be a good idea after that it's okay if it gets wet just don't put any ointments on it and the reason i don't want you to put an ointment on it is that if you put ointment on it it'll actually push the ointment down into the wound and it'll open it up so it doesn't mm -hmm. heal correctly okay it gets infected yeah and well not necessarily Possibly. infected but but what it can do is it'll make the scar larger oh, okay. and the other thing is is sometimes people develop a, a reaction directly to the uh, the heavy petroleum base in the like neosporin and mm -hmm. uh, other um, like petroleum based antibiotic ointment. So it's best to just keep it clean and dry. Okay. Okay. You did fantastic. Thanks for sharing your procedure with us um, and all our friends on YouTube. Thank you for getting it on with so fast. <laughs> well, uh, you're welcome. Bye guys. Have a great weekend. Bye. Hey folks, are you wondering how to boost your immune system to help protect yourself in cold and flu season? Well, maybe it's time for you to stack up on Meta 7. Meta 7 ingredients like B12 and B6 are the building blocks to a healthy immune system. In fact, according to health.com, vitamin B12 is a powerhouse. It helps make DNA, nerve and blood cells, and is crucial for a healthy brain and immune system. So if you're over 50, don't eat a balanced diet, or suffer from fatigue and could use a nice boost, then try Meta 7 today. Meta 7, I've got more energy uh, I feel good. I don't have any aches and pains like I usually have. And I notice just more energy with them. Since I spend more energy and more energetic, mm -hmm. I sleep better. So it's been a pretty good product for me. Notice a huge, tremendous energy boost. Before I was really sluggish, I didn't want to do anything, even my work. It showed it, but now since I've been on it, my work is getting completed. Check out the Amazon links in the description below. And you can order today with Amazon Prime. Do you love Dr. Gilmore's cyst bursting, pimple popping, and infection draining videos? Want to see the extended procedures with never before seen footage, early releases, and no ads? Then support us on Patreon for dozens of HD ad free videos. And don't worry, you can still watch on YouTube for free. But if you want the premium content with no ads, become a patron on Patreon. There's a link in the description. Do you love Dr. Gilmore's cyst bursting, pimple popping, and infection draining videos? Want to see the extended procedures with never before seen footage, early releases, and no ads? Then support us on Patreon for dozens of HD ad free videos. And don't worry, you can still watch on YouTube for free. But if you want the premium content with no ads, become a patron on Patreon. There's a link in the description. Also, check out Dr. Gilmore's seven piece kit, available on Amazon for under $20. It's got a leather case and it's compact in size, good for traveling. See link below.